Okay, so we are going to draw stars in perspective. Um, this one always looks uh, pretty crazy or a little, a little hard to draw, but um, it's actually really fun. I'm going to try, I want to see how it looks like with an HB pencil. I need to do two. Okay. So you have one vanishing point for all of your stars. Okay, so every star has to go to the exact same vanishing point. Um, they already did this one for you. You can see that there is um, parallel lines. So this line and this line need to be parallel. All right, these guys are always parallel to each other. And then your orthogonal lines, which are your diagonal lines that go to the vanishing point. So you've got four, five, six, seven stars you have to draw. Okay, um, and then you can make the stars however thick you want. Don't make them too thin because then it does cause a problem. Now with this one, because they're all going to the same vanishing point, I am not going to draw my lines all the way to it because it's going to just turn into a huge mess, okay? So I'm only going to draw the lines part way to it, still lining them up. So I line up my vanishing point, but I'm going to stop because I don't want to make a huge mess, okay? Because this paper can get really messy. Do not forget the inside part of the stars, okay? Now, I won't see this one because it draws to itself, so I don't draw it. And I'm just going to go around the entire star. Let's see, can you guys see that? Oh, I'll have to switch to 4B. The softer ones are darker, so they're easy for you guys to see on the screen, but they get a little messy, but that's okay. Okay, now you can see them a little better. Okay, so I did that one. This one draws through itself, so I don't need it. This one, I will need it until I touch the star. This one goes through itself, don't need. This one goes through itself, so I don't need. Okay, and then you just create the stars. Now, none of these are um lined up with each other they're kind of just like freehand weird stars so just do the best you can with trying to make it look the same thickness so i went to that point switched here and this is also really important for you guys to get that angle okay line up your ruler always use your ruler as your guide to get that angle um, now, in the example, they shaded it in. You do not need to. That's just kind of a mess. But this is pretty much what it would look like. Okay? So we're just going to do that same thing. So you notice I just didn't take my lines all the way there because it just creates a mess. So I'm just going to continue to do each star. Do not forget to do all the points. A lot of people forget to do these inside points and then your star actually does not work right so check every single point okay oops went through I'm trying not to make a mess because some of them may surprise you like this little guy right here you see just the tiniest edge right there okay so check all of your points. Do not just assume. Check them all. Okay. Then now you'll notice these actually are not the same angle. So you have to do one at a time. So this is really good practice at getting the right angle. always use your ruler to line it up okay this one here it's going to be really narrow kind of like that okay so if you don't want your lines to go all the way to the vanishing point because it's just going to make a mess just make sure that they're lined up but you don't have to draw them all the way there Once you get a lot of practice in with this, um, you'll have to draw your lines all the way to the vanishing point, less and less. Now you'll notice I did this one, 
but it's right on like the same line, so you can't really see it. That one goes through itself. That one goes through itself. That one. So I'm checking all my lines. This is a really good thing to do with the stars. All right, so those are the only ones we see. So this one would go like right here. That's the corner right there. All right, and then this one down here, we kind of just guess. There we go. Four more to go. So same thing, guys. This is just a really repetitive process. Every single point. All right, that one doesn't go. Once again, do not forget those inside points. That is the biggest mistake I see on this one is that people forget the inside points. And then they also don't line their ruler up. Instead of lining their ruler up like this to get the angle, they just like draw. And then you'll see that that's, that's pretty off. And then they'll just like draw it freehand or something. Okay, you don't want that. That's not good. Okay, we want the angle lined up. We want that correct angle always. You have a ruler, use it, and do it right. Okay? Oh, there you go. So see how this looks a lot cleaner and more exact than this weirdness? That one doesn't go. That one doesn't go. Nope. 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 Okay, there we go. So I know the stars can look really complicated, but you're not doing all of them. So it's really not that bad. Like you're not doing every single point. You're doing all of the stars. You're just not doing every single point, every single side. It just depends on where it's at. All right, two left. Nope. 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 Yes, little guy. Okay. So this one, show you one little thing with it. Now a lot of people always want to connect it straight across like this. That's wrong, okay? Just because we can't see from this point doesn't mean you don't go straight like that, okay? So don't do this. That's wrong. Make sure it goes that way, that it follows this angle always. All right, last one. Oops. Make sure your lines are straight. Okay. Line it up. And don't be afraid to turn your paper around and draw at different angles and like move your paper to get the best angle. That helps you. All right. So there you have stars in perspective. Complete it.